The Duchess of Sussex has been tipped to receive an award at the 2022 GQ Men of the Year Awards held at the Tate Modern. Meghan is expected to attend the event in London in person where her charity work will be celebrated. A source said the evening, which costs £5,999 to attend will be a massive coup for Meghan. Insiders suggest changes were made to the date of the event in order to accommodate Meghan and Prince Harry. The source said, due to their mini tour of Europe Meghan wouldn't have been able to attend if awards went ahead on their original date in September. Talks about the evening were already happening before the Queen's passing so no doubt things will have to be re-evaluated to make sure it's as respectful as possible. The GQ Men of the Year awards in association with Hugo Boss will returns. Coming together under one roof, the night promises to be one of the most glamorous events on the calendar, with an eclectic mix of icons, superstars and tastemakers celebrating the inspirational men and women of the last 12 months. From the best of film, music, sport, TV, books, politics and more, previous attendees include the likes of Madonna, Kanye West, Jay-Z, Amy Schumer, Cara Delevingne, Anthony Joshua, Chadwick Boseman, Zendaya, Luke Evans, John Legend, Isla Fisher, Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, Dua Lipa, Chris Hemsworth, Donatella Versace and many more. This year's ceremony will take place at the Tate Modern in London on November 16, and Meghan is expected to attend in person. The showbiz glitz is one of the most exclusive events in the UK calendar David and Victoria Beckham regulars and the like Madonna, Dua Lipa and designer to the stars Donatello Versace all visitors from previous years. Insiders said Meghan will be celebrating for her charity work. A source said, Meghan has been offered one of the top awards of the night so it's a huge coup for her. She already has a close relationship with GQ through her friendship with Vogue's the editor-in-chief is Edward Denninfall, who also owns Condé Nast. The GQ Men of the Year awards usually always take place in September and were originally scheduled to take place on September 7. However, earlier this summer the £5,999 ticketed event was postponed without further explanation. Insiders said the change was made to accommodate Meghan and Prince Harry if they wish to participate. The source continued, due to their mini tour of Europe, Meghan would not have been able to attend if the awards had been held on the original date in September. Talks about the evening were already held earlier Queen passes, so obviously things will need to be reassessed to make sure it's as respectful as possible. Last year, the Duke of Sussex appeared at the awards show live from California via a video link. The Duchess of Sussex is set to receive a huge honor at the 2022 GQ Men's Awards, according to reports. The Duke of Sussex, speaking in a surprise virtual appearance at the GQ Awards at the Tate Modern in London in 2021, delivered a speech urging governments to do more to vaccinate poor countries. Insiders claim the Duchess thought she would become British Beyoncé upon her marriage to the Queen's grandson, but was disillusioned with the strict protocols and rules of life as a working member of the royal family and increasingly felt trapped and misunderstood by the company. The book also published allegations that the Queen had to set foot on Megaxit and told the Sussex family that they were either in or out at the summit of Sandringham as members of the royal family decided on Harry and Meghan's future. Law said members of the royal family gathered at the so-called Sandringham summit five days after the Duke and Duchess announced their plans to step down as senior royals on January 8, 2020. During the initial deliberations, the Queen wanted all four royals to work together quickly in order to find a solution. A former palace insider said, I think Meghan thought she was going to be Beyoncé in the UK. Being part of the royal family will give her that glory. It was the Queen who felt the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should not be allowed to perform official duties unless they were willing to follow the rules that apply to all working royals, according to Valentine's book. Working royals.